Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon White. Last time, we ended up arriving in Driftvale City, only to find out that Team Plasma had escaped from the clutches of the town gym leader, Clay. So, we've gone around town and it seems that Team Plasma is inside the cold storage building right here. But, before we can get to Team Plasma, we're gonna have to deal with a few things. Wait, are you still going on about that? Why aren't you thinking about the fact that we have to go after Team Plasma in order to challenge this gym? We're doing Clay's job! <sighs> anyway, welcome to the inside of Cold Storage. Come up here, grab yourself a netball, good for catching bug or water type Pokemon, and another Pokeball that I will never use because of my OCD. Everything must be in a Pokeball. Even legendaries must be in Pokeballs. I don't think you understand how ridiculous I get with that. But, the ground is frozen, which means we're gonna slip and slide around, which means ice puzzles and trainer battles along with ice puzzles. Yeah, you know, these guys are working inside the cold storage and they seem to have not found the Team Plasma members that are inside here, yet they're making me battle them. Are these guys Team Plasma? Are they secretly Plasma in disguise? And monkey fight! I will show him that my monkey is better. And it seems we're having a flame burst fight, but let's do a rock tomb, and that's why my monkey is better, because mine has type coverage. Well, not really type coverage as same type coverage. If he had type coverage, I'd still have him no grass knot. But now we got Timber, so now it's time for Munch Munch to make her Levani premiere. And I will just tell you, she does a lot better as a Levani than she did as a Swadloon. Luckily, fighting types don't really do too much to her, but there we go, that gets rid of Timber. And that defeats the worker named Victor, who decided to battle us instead of doing his job and finding Team Plasma. Anyway, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to slide on down that way, because what I want to do is I want to get myself the item that's down there, but I can't. Anyway, the repel wore off, but there aren't any Pokemon that you can catch inside here. But there are more trainers, such as this man. And yes, I am pretty energetic, considering I don't have a thick thermal coat like you do. Can you give me that thermal coat, please? I'm very cold. But, errors have been made. And since Monkey doesn't know Grass Knot anymore, he's got no type coverage, so get out of there. And go Munch Munch. Oh no, Fury Swipe, whatever will I do? It's one of the most devastating attacks ever. Have a good leaf. Boom. There we go, that defeats the Panpour. And now we got a Timber, so let us fight you, Timber. I did well against the last Timber, so let us just spam Grass Knot, as the fighting type moves do literally nothing to Munch Munch. Now Munch Munch, just to get into it, she's not gonna be on my team for when I eventually go to fight the Elite Four. She is gonna be my main Grass type Pokemon, though. As in, she's the one in charge of all the grass moves that I eventually get. And I'll use her from time to time, but I already know who my main team are. And we're getting close to actually when we're going to get the final two members. Because right now, the main team is Monkey, Anna, Bernie, and Monty. They are permanent members. The last two, I will always be able to possibly switch around, but I already know who those last two are gonna be for quite a while. Munch Munch will be going in and out. Oli is gonna be retired soon. I keep saying that, but it's true. Anyway, look, we got ourselves another battle to deal with because, you know, these guys are just standing around instead of trying to find Team Plasma. We gotta go against the worker Philippe with his good. I have to always wonder, where do the girders get the girders from? Do they do what, you know, timbers do and just go to um, construction sites and steal, just steal girders? Because, you know, I can understand a piece uh, two by four going missing, that's not really as needed, but, you know, a piece of steel girder, yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of needed. And again, where does Conklador get the two giant concrete slabs from? These are questions that need to be answered. But we finally have an ice worker who actually has ice type Pokemon. And me, I still have Munch Munch in first. 
Errors have been made. Munch Munch, get out of there. It's time for the monkey to shine. I almost ended up sending out Bernie. Although Bernie would do good because fighting types are two times strong against ice, but I just want my little monkey to get things done. So, flame burst, and boom. And we got another timber, so why don't we switch to Anna because we need to give Anna some screen time here. She is my tank after all. So, uh, let's see, razor shell. And one hit. And there we go, that defeats Patton. So, let us grab this, which is an ice heal. Now there is a TM inside here, I believe, that I do not grab and it is for Scald. But I think I mistakenly forget to grab it. But go right here and get yourself a Hyper Potion. Sweet, that restores 200 HP. And those are going to be very beneficial later. But for right now, let's switch Anna to being in front. And why not have Bernie in front instead? Okay, I thought I was going to put Anna in front. But I guess it's time for Bernie to shine. Long live Bernie. Now oh, I'm ready to battle. You seem like you're freezing cold and not really ready to battle. Or you have a stutter. Fighting type fight! Looks like it's Smacky versus Bernie. Maybe Smacky will try to redeem himself, seeing as how he's stuck in the box forever. Never mind. Bernie for love, Bernie for life. Oh look, this is just gonna be a timber fight, isn't it? And I'm just gonna use, just gonna sit here, using revenge, beating up all the Pokemon in one hit, and a Vanillite. Let's punch it. I outsped a Vanillite with Bernie. Bernie is not known for speed. <laughs> That's a very sad Vanillite. I'm not going to lie, but how'd you get through here so fast? Well, yes, there's something in here since this is the only thing we've known for. Well, I don't know. Are you going to check inside with me? All right, so I've got Bernie and I've got everyone set. Maybe I should heal up Munch Munch a little bit so then she is a little bit better. So let's get Munch Munch some there. And let's mm, let's just heal up Oli. Maybe heal up Monkey or Bernie. I need Bernie. Heal up Monkey. And I think we're good. Anna has more than enough health to last, even though Bernie had more than enough health to last too. But go inside here. And look. Maybe you should be wearing thermal coats. Okay, so Zinzolin of the Seven Sages. So it looks like we've got to take care of these Plasma Grunts. So Sharon's got four and I've got four. All right, so you're the strongest of this group, huh? You go down first. Now attack me with your possible sand dials and evolved pat rats. How many of these things do you have? Bernie, throw it. Goodbye. And now it's time for Bernie to level up. Sweet. And them stats. So we got a Scraggy now. Oh sweet, so we've got a fighting type that's a dark type, so it's weak to itself. Bernie, take care of it. Here's my revenge for that. And now you did. So you were the strongest in the group, huh? I don't see it. Yeah, long live Team Plasma. Now, could you get out of the way so I can get to that one of those sages that's behind you? They look like they're having fun, but they're really suffering. That is a PETA argument in its entirety, and that's scary. You know what's actually, I need to actually bring this up too. So PETA eventually came after the Pokemon series and it was with Pokemon Black and White that they finally actually started going after the Pokemon series. 
they released a game known as Pokemon Black and Blue, in which PETA was going in full support of Team Plasma. That shows that they do not know the plot of this Pokemon game in the slightest, and I'm not going to give anything away for it, but if you couldn't tell that Team Plasma already isn't full of a bunch of hypocrites already and pretty much can be paralleled to PETA a lot of ways, then yeah. Then again, they went after Mario with Super Mario 3D Land like idiots. But that's neither here nor there. But either way, that takes care of the Leopod. Thank you, Bernie. You're always so strong. And Munch Munch is now level 29. Getting them stats and wants to learn Slash. Sweet, that is a good move for her to learn. So get rid of that tackle with its abysmal 50 attack. Give me Slash with my 70 attack. And also chance for criticals. Always gotta go for those crits. Yes, great plans are always interrupted. That's why you plan for those plans being interrupted. It's called having a contingency plan. So you were trying to transfer them all after a ship, but what about these guys? Oh, it looks like Sharon's beating these guys pretty easily. Allergic to the cold. No, you're just cold. In your own way, you're a strong part of Team Plasma. Good to know. Time to take that confidence and completely shatter it with Bernie. Oh, you have one Pokemon, huh? And it's a Trubbish. I should be using Monty against you. But I think Bernie wants to punch more things. So, revenge. Oh no, I'm getting slapped. I'm getting slapped with my physical defense. Oh no, whatever will I do, I'm losing so much health from this. You're just powering up my revenge, you moron. Now die, trash bag. Die. Oh, the trash bag was supposed to die, so guess what? Vital throw. Oh, great stockpile. The only other Pokemon that really uses it besides a Gulpin. Although I think Mux nowadays can learn them, but I don't use Mux. So, that defeats the Trubbish. And the Grunt. Yes, you are indeed a sore loser. You never stood a chance against Bernie. Oh god, don't fall asleep. If you fall asleep, you're never going to wake up. You are clearly warm-blooded. Cold air is not doing you good. But it's time to tackle the last member of Team Plasma here. Okay, I'm guessing a Watchog and possibly a Sand Dial. Well, we have the Sand Dial, so Bernie, go punch it. I, I love how that's my solution for all of this. Bernie, punch it. Oh no, I've been embargoed. No, I can't use my items anymore. I also can't, you know, import items because I've been embargoed. Either way, that was super effective because you used a dark type against a fighting. When will they learn? And I was right. We've got the evolved form of Pat Rats. Now, Bernie, punch it. Just punch everything, Bernie. Uh-oh, Super Fang. That actually does a lot of damage. Yeah, Super Fang is one of those annoying moves that actually does a lot of damage like Hyper Fang does. And Watch Hogs know that, which is annoying. But that defeats all the Plasma Grunts. And here's Clay with all the workers I beat. This should teach you, crime does not pay. Now, all of them are under arrest and probably going to be tortured by Clayton. All right, so we can now challenge Clay at the gym. You know, I have to agree entirely with you on that. They are a waste of oxygen. So. Before we leave, there's an item back here, and if you grab this, 
You get the Never Melt Ice, which powers up ice type moves. Unfortunately, I don't really have an ice type. I really should get an ice type though. Ice types, or, or a Pokemon that knows ice type moves. Because that would help me against dragons. And spoiler alert, just for a little bit ahead, I don't get type coverage for dragon for a while. But there we go. That takes care of the cold storage mess. So why don't we head up to the gym and see if we can go and challenge Clay right now. Of course, we're not gonna be doing it in this episode, but uh, we also need to heal up our Pokemon, which is a always a good thing to do. So, please heal my Pokemon, even though they didn't really take up too much damage from Team Plasma. This is more for power points. Thank you, Nurse Joy. Oh, you will see me again. You will see me a lot. So, let us, uh, hmm. Seems everyone's doing pretty good right now. So let's head on up to the gym and see what's going on with Clay and all them. So then I can end up challenging him and getting a badge. Although I do go the wrong way and realize, wait, there's a house up here. Route six guy looking for legendary Pokemon. Huh, that's rather interesting. Now what's this place? Okay, that was depressing. People gonna understand one another. Yeah, that that'd be a nice thing. Yeah, the enter link is unique. Too bad I can't really use it anymore. Helping each other is important. So is this just a happy-go-lucky, feely, everyone's cool sort of place? Helping is indeed a great thing, especially when, you know, it's out of the goodness of your heart. Of course, there are people who will be complete assholes about that, but that's neither here nor there. So, that takes care of that. Now let's head over to the gym, because I think we should go and challenge it. But what's this? Hey, look, it's that weird guy. It's Getis, or... I can never pronounce his name. Is it Getsis? I'll just call him G. I call bullshit. Oh, snap. So you would literally ransack this city. Wow. G be a bitch. Yeah, that sounds like fun. I've got Pokemon that can wipe your Pokemon's butt. Or I should say, wipe the floor with you. I have no idea what I was saying. Ignore me! Yes, flawless victories in gyms are fun, but there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Seems Team Plasma got off scot-free. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Maroxas1359. Next time, we're gonna challenge Clay at his gym.